Hey guys, it's Kayla, and today I am here for you with my ColourPop collection slash review slash basically just just saying how much I love ColourPop because I love ColourPop so 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 much. Um, it's literally one of my favorite makeup brands that I discovered this year. Um, and everything on their website is between five and eight dollars, and it's only online. So ColourPop.com. Um, uh, I just I love them I don't have a well I have a decent amount in comparison to other like makeup brands um but I don't have a lot of lip products because I just I got a little bit hooked on their eyeshadows for a period of time so I have a little more of the eyeshadows um, and then I really want to order when the new matte lipsticks um, or lip creams come out or come back um, in August when those get restocked. I'm going to order some and I have a ton of things on my wish list. I don't have any of the face products um, just because at the time they came out I was still kind of getting used to the consistency of the eye products and I wasn't sure I was ready for face products of that same consistency. Um, but now I know I need to order that some. So I have like a big plan for a big order to put in in August. Um, so there will be more ColourPop coming soon. Probably a ColourPop haul. I, I just I love these products. So I'm going to start with the lip products. I'm going to start with the one that's on my lips right now. And that is, um, LBB is the shade. And so I have the Lippy, the Lippy Pencil and Lippy Sticks. Um, and these were kind of the, these are the first lip products I came out with. Um, and so the Lippy Sticks and Lippy Pencils, they usually have a match. There's sometimes like limited edition shades come out and if they won't have a match or ones that are in like sets won't have matches. But for the most part, every Lippy Stick has a Lippy Pencil match. So, um, I got the LBB ones. These ones are about a perfect match. The Lippy Pencil may be a little bit, um, pinker I think um and so a lot of them are like either um very complementary colors or the exact same color so these two are a little more complementary um and yeah so this is what I'm wearing on my lips today and I absolutely love it um this is the first lipstick I got this is actually the, like the first color pop um item I got was this lipstick and I absolutely love it so that's what I have on my lips and then the other pair that I have is Fern which was in their spring collection and so lippy pencil lippy sticks um, and then this is just like a beautiful purple color. I love this. That's why I ordered it because it was my favorite purple in the spring collection. Um, and I just, I love this product so much. Um, this is one of my most worn lipsticks that I have. Oops, I was going to put the lid on upside down. That's not how that works. All right, and then we're going to go on to um, eyeshadows. Now their eyeshadows are the Super Shock shadows or pigments. Some of them are pigments. I think I have one that's a pigment, not a shadow. Um, yeah, I want it's a pigment, um, not a shadow, and I guess I'll start with that one, and that is one I didn't actually order. I don't know if maybe they were, when they were phasing out this color, they were just kind of throwing it in orders as they sent them out, because I definitely didn't order this, um, but I, I was happy to get it, um, and that is, um, Hot Toddy, which I talked about in, um, my 4th of July video. It's just like this beautiful, sparkly, intense red. Um, I still have not found a use for it, but I absolutely love it. All right, um, and then I guess I'm going to go with my two shadows um, that don't come in sets, and those would be, they're both from the spring collection. Where's my other one? Aha. Cowboy and Taco. So this is Cowboy, and Cowboy, I'm sadly kind of disappointed in. Cowboy is this, like, really gorgeous light purple color that I was super excited to get, but it's really chalky. It just doesn't have as good of color payoff as the other shadows. Um... I was really disappointed by it, but I usually wear this, like, I'll pack it on as much as I can with a good primer, and then I put, um, there's the, that NARS duo that came out in the Christopher Kane collection, I put the purple shade over this, and it looks really gorgeous, and it works really well underneath, with this underneath, so this works really well as, like, a base, um, for that really sparkly shadow, but I just, I was really bummed, because I was really excited to wear this on its own, and it just is a little bit chalky, and I don't know if I just got a bad batch, or if it's just this color, it just kind of was a bummer. And then the next shade from the spring collection that I got um, was Taco, which is this gorgeous blue, um, which I'm actually really impressed by. This. Like, it is a little bit chalky. I think just their matte shadows end up being a little chalkier anyway, um, which, you know, is the way of the world. But I um, this one I like a lot more um, than Cowboy. Um, but yeah, so this one's really fun. I love this a lot. So then I have two um, sets of shadows. I have um, the Kathleen Lights quad and the Shan XO quad, um, and I was going to show you these in order, and then I did my makeup this morning, and I did half Shan XO, half Kathleen Lights, so we're gonna, I'm still going to try and show you to them by collection. So let's see. Let me sort these out. 
Do, do, do. All right, so let's start with uh, Shanxo because that's the ones that are closest to me. So I'm gonna start with the two that are on my lids. Um, and so the first one, which is my absolute favorite color pop shadow I own, it's my most loved, and I just threw it in the trash. So this is my most loved ColourPop shadow. I absolutely adore this color. I wear it all the time, even if I'm not wearing any other ColourPop shadows. So this one is XO from the Shanxo Quad, and it is what I'm wearing in my inner corner right now. And it's this beautiful, champagne-y, just shimmery, shimmery color. I, ugh, this is literally my favorite color in the entire quad, in the entirety of ColourPop. I just, I use this all the time. So that is XO. And then the next one that I used is um, Selfie, which is in my um, crease right now. And just a really nice warm toned matte brown. And it's like the perfect crease color. I love this. This is what I use for crease all the time. Um, for the most part, I apply these with my fingers. Um, but with these two, I actually, no, this one I apply with my fingers every single time I wear it. This guy, I do like to apply the matte one, sometimes with a blending brush, so I use my Sonia Ketchup blending brush for um, this guy, um, and I think it works really, really well. And then for some of the more metallic colors that I put on my lid, I have this MAC brush. I don't know what it is. It came in a holiday set. I don't remember what number, but I think this works really well. I use it with my ColourPop shadows and then also with my um, MAC, um, oh my gosh, why can't I remember what they're called? Why do I need to pull one out right now because I can't remember what they're called? Um, Paint pots. That's the word I'm looking for. Like, I can't think of words. So I use them with my paint pots, um, but also with my ColourPop shadows. So that is that. But for the most part, I apply these with my fingers. Um, so yeah, so those are the two that are on my face, which are Selfie and XO. And the other two colors that came with this collection are also beautiful. So this one is Deluxe. And it's just a little bit, it's a little shimmery. It's just a shimmery-ish brown. Um, I really love this color. Um, yeah, that's one I wear not as often as the others, but it is one of my favorite shimmery browns that I have. And the other one is absolutely gorgeous. And I actually wear this one a lot too, and I wear it with my favorite. You guys have probably seen this before. I wear it with my um, Solstice Urban Decay shadow, my Moon Dust shadow. It is just this beautiful, like, khaki green. Ugh, I just, yeah, but pop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, just seriously. This is the best combination ever. If you do not have Solstice, you need to find it because it is absolutely flawless. And if I put it over this, it's even more flawless. So yes, that is the Shanx O Quad. Um, I absolutely love all these. These are the first ColourPop shadows I owned and I fell in love with them really quickly. Um, and so, I mean, this is the reason why I bought ColourPop for the first time with Shanx O and oh my God. Ah, perfect. All right, and then the last quad I had was Kathleen Lights. And I used two colors from that today as well. I used um, Glow, which is this like matte, creamy color. And this is my brow bone highlight today. Um, and it's a little bit chalky too, but I mean, I don't use it for anything other than like a brow bone highlight, so I think it's actually perfect for that. And then the other one I used today is what's all over my lid, and that is Kathleen Lights, which is this beautiful gold color. I die. I just, I absolutely die. It is flawless. So, yes. That is the two I'm wearing. And then the other two from that collection are um, Cornelius, which is named after one of her dogs. And she calls this Cornelius Brown because it's the color of her dog. And I can't open it. <laughs> there we go. So this is Cornelius, which is just a nice matte brown. Um, I like this one for my crease as well. Um, yeah, so that's probably one of my favorite crease shades. Um, it also is a little bit chalky, but it's a matte. It's what happens. And the other one from the collection is Blaze, which this one's pretty gorgeous. It's another like shimmery, um, the Kathleen Lights one's a little more like a coppery gold. This one's more of like a deep, deep gold. And ugh, I love it. I, ugh. Both of these quads are like literally the best thing ever. I am so, so, so in love with them. So that is my ColourPop collection that is slowly growing. I am obsessed with this brand. I, ugh, I just want everything. I want them to be a full makeup line and they are working that way really fast. They within like, since I started using them, when I started using them, they just had lippy sticks, lippy pencils, and the shadows. 
And since then, they've added blushes and bronzers and highlighters and matte lipsticks and or matte liquid lipsticks. And I am just excited to see what comes next from them because they are an amazing brand. Really affordable and really good quality stuff. So, like, honestly, you should check them out. Um, I will link whatever these products are still available down below as well as just the link to their website so you can go explore. I absolutely love everything in this brand um, and you guys should totally check them out. So, um, if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.